Okay, we now have the uh, polytubing on the uh, seeder, and we've set up the steamer. Um, I'm using a just a standard uh, domestic closed steamer, and I'm hoping this is going to work out. I'm going to give this a try. Uh, I'm hoping I won't have to go to a commercial steamer, but uh, as you can see, I've uh, set up the steamer. I just punched a little hole in the uh, in the poly tubing and it's steaming away here. Um, I've got a couple of the condensation is dripping out into this bucket on one side and dripping out into the bucket on the other side. So uh, by my calculations uh, it should take a couple of hours to get this cedar ready for bending and uh, we'll come back in a couple of hours and we'll see if we can get this thing bent into shape. So I used a, an oven thermometer to monitor the temperature inside the tubing. And I placed the thermometer about two foot inside the tubing from this end. The maximum temperature that it reached was 175 degrees Fahrenheit. But it took it an hour to get up to this temperature. So I decided to let the steaming run an additional two hours uh, past the maximum uh, for a total of three hours of steaming. We went ahead and bent the cedar into shape. We started at the middle here and worked along one clamp at a time to, uh, to get the cedar into place. At the very end here, it got a bit tricky and we had to use a, a brace here for the final bending at the bow. We also had to put a brace in uh, at the stern as well. We found that the uh, the poly tubing reduces the friction between the cedar and the whole plank so that the, uh, the cedar began to creep up above the top of the whole plank. So the solution to that was we had to, to uh, go to each clamp point, uh, loosen it slightly and take a block and a hammer and hammer the, uh, the cedar back down into place and then re-tighten each clamp. So I had to do that procedure about three times uh, before the, uh, the cedar began to stabilize and remain in place. So now that we, we have it in place where, where, we, where we want it, uh, we'll let it dry out for 24 hours and it should permanently assume its shape.